What's up, what's up, YouTube? You're now tuning in Star General TV, a.k.a. Mr. Vodka by himself. Now, don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> you heard me? Let's get straight to this, man. Straight to this. You're probably like, yo, Star, how you have, why you have the mask on your face right now? Like, what is, what is going on? You know, it says get money, has the money sign and everything, like... That you really is wowing, really bugging out right now. You feel me? And to people that says that, I think I'm really not. You feel me? I'm just trying to protect myself because I'll be playing basketball in Brooklyn. And, you know, I have no ops. However, though, like, you never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to make sure I come back home. You know, I got loved ones out here, you know? <laughs> All right, but on a serious note, I would like to start off by saying this though. Let's before we get into the video, I think I was, I've been told in my life before, while growing up in Brooklyn, with my experiences, that you should be aware of your surroundings because Brooklyn is a place. You know, I love I love the community. I love the community where I came from in Brooklyn. But I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not, it wasn't always perfect. However, though, it's a place full of wolves and you have to be aware of your surroundings. We like to call it keeping your head on a swivel, you know, being attentive of what's going around, not being too flashy because, you know, there, there were so many stories of people that are just being too flashy, getting taken out, you know, and I feel like this is the case with this pastor right here, this bishop, quote unquote, men of God, you know? Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. A Brooklyn bishop was robbed at gunpoint in the middle of his Sunday sermon today, and it was all caught on camera. The service was being live streamed this morning when he says three to four men walked in with guns. He spoke at length with CBS 2's Lisa Rosner about why he believes he was targeted and his message for the suspects. Five to ten minutes into preaching Sunday morning on Remsen Avenue in Canarsie, Bishop Lamar Whitehead saw the door in the back of the room kick open. How many of you have lost your faith because you saw somebody else die? What you about to go through? Yo, yo, all right, all right, all right, all right. I seen three to four men come in. I said, all right, all right, all right. It's pretty much stating that I don't want. I'm not going to do anything, right? Because I know y'all coming from me. Y'all coming straight to me. I don't want my parishioners hurt, right? I got um, women and children there. As I got down, one went to my wife and took all her jewelry and, um, and had the gun in front of my eight-month-old baby's face. Um, took off my bishop's ring, my, um, my wedding band, and took off my bishop's chain. And then I had chains underneath my robe. Hold on, before we like continue any further, I just want to like go back to see like the other guy's face as if he was like my rope you know, off my like, bishop's chain. Bothered. Hold on, look at this guy. Like he is like so unbothered. Like he he's not like he don't care about nothing that's going on right now. Like he is just straight up just chilling, and it's a whole robbery. Straight face, bro. Like. My bishop's ring, my um, <laughs> like his pastor on the ground, his pastor on the ground, bro. His pastor on the ground, he's just there, straight face, just watching it happen, bro. My wedding band, and took off my bishop's chain, and then I had chains underneath my robe. Um, and um, he started tapping my neck to see if anything else, so that means they knew they, they watched and they knew that I have other jury. The church's live stream shows the gun being held on the pastor. They had the guns on the on my deacons that was at the door. Whitehead says what you don't see on camera are around 100 congregants who were in the room. Men, women, and children dropped to the floor in silence. My church is traumatized. The women and children are still crying. Still crying. Babies are still crying. Police say the men took off in a... I'm I'm kind of curious to 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 see if like other members in his like congregation, like he said, 
actually got robbed with him too. I'm, I wonder if he's the only one that got robbed. Because if he, he is, I don't know. It, it kind of seems fishy to me. White Mercedes. Whitehead says cops have a license plate and witnesses saw the men change clothes outside. These men, they need to turn themselves in. I forgive you and I'm praying for you. You know, and I hope that God deliver you from the mindset of who you are at this time. Whitehead believes his family was targeted because of the publicity he received when he helped turn in the suspect wanted in the fatal subway shooting of 48-year-old Daniel Enriquez in May. I turned them in, but the media called me the bling bling bishop. They had my Rolls Royce car all over everywhere, and I feel that that played the part in this. I think all pastors should be uh, be able to get permits for pistols. The NYPD is investigating, and Whitehead says the mayor and top police brass have called him, pledging support to find the suspects. Fortunately, no one was hurt. In Canarsie, Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. In a statement, a spokesperson for Mayor Adams said, quote, no one in this city should be the victim of an armed robbery, let alone our faith leaders and congregants worshiping in a house of God. The NYPD is investigating this crime and will work tirelessly to bring the criminals involved to justice. That is really, really crazy. Like, oh, man. That is really, really crazy. Like, first off, I would like to say this, like, why are you, like, carrying, like, jewelry, expensive stuff to the church, and you're, like, a, a pastor? Like, why are you driving such luxurious cars in, in that specific community where, like, there are people, like, struggling, you feel me? Like, this, this, like, anybody that knows, like, that specific area, like, knows, like, you're not supposed to be, like, flaunting your jewelry like that in Canarsie. Especially in Canarsie, the Flossie, come on now. You're going to flaunt your jewelry around your nice cars and not expect to get, like, robbed by anybody. You know how many people I know got robbed in Canarsie? Like, <laughs> this was absolutely... Like, uh, crazy. And then another thing, too, I kind of felt like this, I don't know. Like, I feel like his, like, deacon was way too calm for the situation. Like, hold on. Let me, sh let me show you. Like, look at the deacon. Like, he is just way too calm for me to say this is a, this is a normal, like, regular Brooklyn robbery. Like he's just like straight face. Just like, I don't care what's going Like he don't care what's going on. He got the Bible open, just chilling with his pastor on his knees. Like, <laughs> like getting robbed. He's just dead chilling, you know? And like, I, I so it kind of makes me feel like this was like an inside job too, because like the news then also report that they didn't take anybody else's money. Like, that makes no sense. How is that like, you know, being from Brooklyn? I don't, I don't think that's like. If it, it feels like more of an inside, like an inside job, they know exactly who to hit, where to hit. What that person was gonna have at a specific time. He like, like he said, he like the the robbers went directly, where the the jewelry is on. It was on him. It was on the pastor, and they took it right off of him. They took it right off his wife, and. It was easy, easy payday. And I'm just surprised that nobody else within the church got robbed as well, too. I mean, you know, put every put everything in the offering basket. It would have been easy, but I don't know. Something fishy is, is going on around about this one. But, you know, that's just, ah, man, that's just tough. But that's what I got to say for this video, you feel me? Thank you for watching. Make sure to smash the bell to be notified when I drop. Hit both the like to subscribe button. Also, leave your thoughts below in the comment section. That being said, to the haters, get more. You know, stay watching your area. You feel me? Stay, keep your head on the swivel. Stay safe out here. It's dangerous, you know?